Hello friend, welcome back to my channel KBS Technocraft. Today we are going to understand how we can learn and do hands-on practice with a free sandbox subscription. In this tutorial, we will drive into how you can get hands-on practice with Azure using free sandbox environment. Before we proceed further, let's understand what is sandbox environment. A sandbox environment is an isolated space where you can develop tests and experiment with new feature without impacting your main environment and subscription. It does not add any additional cost. To start a bit, let's navigate to Microsoft Learn Press. So, https micro learn dot microsoft dot com dot micro dot com and then now we need to search a learning tutorial where we require a lab so i have one you can search anything so i have one and what i have typed it publish a web app to azure with visual studio and then i added a prefix a postfix as a training so let's search it here so basically when you select training you will get that sandbox option so I selected training here. Now I can get it. Deploy web site to Azure with a Azure App Service learning part, right? So uh, this is one. And then uh, we can search multiple. There are multiple, uh, multiple, uh, you know, uh, learning or trainings are there which you can select it. Let's say select this one. I will try to search only using Visual Studio. Let's see that. So we will re, uh, refine this uh, search so we need uh, we, we have selected this publish a web app to azure with visual studio because we want to do a demo and using visual studio will be very easy for us to do that so that's why i selected this you can select any training so now you <coughs> you need to keep skipping this all right so you need not to worry about this let's let's keep uh, going there now once you reach on this so this is say this this step say that you just create a uh, uh, application right web application using dot net dot uh, net uh, visual studio dot net so we will do it later let's go there and first initiate the sandbox right so we will so once you reach on this page it will say that uh, this module required a sandbox to complete it so what you have to get that uh, you have to do that here you click on sign in to activate sandbox right so we will click on sign in to activate okay so now i will give my email id here and then i will click on next so i will continue yes it will now ask for verification so we will do that verification since it's a free it it asks for this verified account so we will click on that and then we need to select the objects which are common it will ask a couple of times so let's do that Sorry, I need to do rewrite validation. It looks like it does not match. Since it's a pre, it used to ask this lot of questions uh, uh, for verification. And sometimes it used to take some time. So that's fine. Okay, is it done? So now it's a checking the sandbox availability. So uh, typically it used to check uh, 
uh, take five minutes approximately. So let's wait for five minutes. Until the time, we will be creating one application using Visual Studio and try to deploy that web application to cloud. So now you can see that the sandbox activated for four hours, the remaining time four hours. So four hours is enough for doing our exercise. So what we will do, we will open Visual Studio. And then we will create a new project. And I will try to use MVC application a model view controller just i want to have some gui based application so i just want to use that next right and then i will give that uh azure free pen box test app something like that and then i will click next and then i will select this uh, and then authorization type as in for time being, and then I will create it, this application. So once this application created, I will try to build on local, and then I will try to deploy this code and see that whether this application I am able to deploy it without having the Azure subscription. Okay, so let's see that I run it just to make sure that it's running fine. So I'm running on local. So you can see that build is happening and then it's going to take a few seconds. OK, so good. So this application is running. Uh, just to make sure we have uh, some modification there, I'm just doing some modification just for reference purpose. It's not mandatory to, uh, to do that. So I'm doing here. And this is. Um, core and deploying deploying to Azure sandbox just for testing purpose I added this so that we can test it okay so it's running Okay, so we can see that uh, whatever text I have added is added here on home page. That's fine. Now what we will do, we will go here and try to see that whether we are able to access Azure portal or not. So we will put portal.azure.com and then I will put my ID, whatever I have used it. Right, and then Right. So if you see here, Microsoft Learn Sandbox, you are able to see here, right? Microsoft Learn Sandbox is coming. That means it's enabled. So now you can see you are able to see this here. All. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to deploy this to Azure. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click here and just click on publish. Right. It will ask for me to create a subscription, uh, create a a profile for that so i just selected here and then azure app service i selected window you can select any that's fine and then click new and then you see that automatically since my login account is here is same so it's created now it will i just created a new instance okay so it's creating new instance of the app services is it will take few seconds now it's a created And then we will, once you click on finish, it will be basically create the profile for you. And once you deploy it, you will be able to deploy it. Okay, till the time uh, we will see whether we can. So here, here also you can create app service, right? App service, you, you can see you are able to see all this option here uh, by using the Microsoft Learn Sandbox. So here, that's how you can, use this sandbox for at least four hours in one session and in one day is allowed you to use 10 
10 sandboxes that means 4 hours per into 10 that means it will be 40 hours you can use it maximum okay so let me go to visual studio it still is going on let's wait for a few seconds uh, once we create it right what will happen that your app service will display here and also you can stop and restart from here uh, it's done it's, if you see this is created then i click on finish so it's creating the profile and then we will try to deploy it profile is created close and then you can see this profile is created here and then i will create publish so once you publish it basically it will take few seconds because the sandbox are, are quite slow with compared to normal subscription so it will take five minutes approximately so is it done uh application was running so it asked me to stop that application i stopped the application now i will click on output so i can see that what is happening there so build is successfully happened now publishing to azure app service is going on so you can see is uh, deploying to that particular app service which is created that sandbox test this 204 this so is created now let's go to azure here and we will refresh it you will be able to see that there is a app service created so you can see here app service is created now if you go there what will happen this this will open a so we can run it from there also and it's opening there so if you see there this is azure sandbox where we deployed it and we are able to see same output up here what we are getting on the local so this is where it's deployed now if you want to verify that here you can see that here this all this is app service being created and it's the same and it's a deployed so that is how by using this pipe step you can use free sandbox subscription for your verification or your practice where you need not to pay a single penny so i hope it will help you to use learn happy learning if you like what you see please subscribe my channel